let us discuss radiation from alternating current element. Radiation from alternating current element. Okay, so to calculate the electromagnetic field radiated by space of radiating current element, or it is also called as short time. Called as short time. Okay. So uh, the retarded potential is also so very, very important. Which is what? The vector retarded potential is also. As I have already told, once you know the vector retarded potential from that, you can calculate what is the electrical field and magnetical field at point at point of observation P. Okay. So an alternating current element is considered as basic source of radiation. Okay. So, in, so in general, a current element ideal. Okay. So in general, a current element ideal is nothing but an element length T L carrying a elementary current I. Okay. So the length of the thin wire, the length of the thin wire is assumed to be very short. So that the filamentary uh, the elementary current or elementary current can be considered constant along the length of the element. Okay, so the important usage of, of uh, usage of this approximation is observed in case of current carrying current. Okay, in such cases, the antenna can be considered made up of large number of such elements connected n to n. Hence, if the electromagnetic field of such small element is known, then the electromagnetic field of any large antenna can be easily connected. Okay, so now let us study. How you will calculate the electrical field and magnetical field of an alternating current element placed at uh, some point. And so what is the amount of electrical field and magnetic field at point of observation you are getting due to this alternating current element. Okay. Alternating current element. Okay. Now consider here a spherical coordinate system. Okay. So which is having ideal pass omega it is located at center of the uh, figure, let us see here. So, up to now, you have to write this expression. Okay, so vector potential here is equal to by using uh, heuristic approach or Maxwell's equation approach, we have to write the vector retarded potential is equal to mu by 4 pi into this one. Okay, so here, let us consider this is my system. Here, I am keeping my alternating current element along z axis. Along z axis. Okay, since I am placing along z axis, I am writing this equation as az. Az is equal to mu by since. So, this is my alternating current element I have kept. This is my point of observation, which is a distance from the it is r. So, now here you want to calculate electrical field and magnetic field. Okay, so since I have kept my alternating current element along the z axis, okay, so az is equal to mu by 4 pi to integration of j of t minus r by p into t v dash. Okay, so clear. <laughs> so, uh, now see here, the same thing here. Here an alternating current element is placed here. A current element. Okay, so here you want to tell this is the point of observation. Okay. So, here three things are there. You want to study the radiation field in spherical coordinate system. You want to study the radiation in spherical coordinate system. So, here uh, here at point P, you want to calculate electrical field and magnetic. Electrical field in spherical components, we have three components. That is, here, E theta, E phi. Similarly, magnetic field P, HR, H theta, H phi. Let us see what less six field components you want to uh, calculate. Let us see how many field components will vanish and how many field components will exist. Okay, so while we are deriving, so which field components will present there, which field components will not be present there. Okay, so here, so this is the expression for AZ. Okay, so we know that this is nothing but volume integral of volume integral of j dot of t minus r by v into r into t v dash is nothing but so volume integral of surface current volume integral of since the current uh, the dimension is very very less so integration of j 
starting from i into dl okay so it went to cos of omega of p minus r by v okay so in the place of integration of uh, this one in the place of integration of uh, j into t minus r by v into t u dash is nothing but ideal to cos omega t okay so integration this one So this one is nothing but ideal cos omega t minus r. So this is j. Okay. So what is the relation? So j is simply nothing but i by a. If I do integration, integration over volume becomes current. Okay. So ideal into cos omega t. Okay. So therefore, what is the final expression for uh, uh, az? The final expression for az is so az is equal to u by 4 by u2. Ideal cos omega t minus r by v by r. So, this is the expression for az. This is the expression for az. az is equal to v by 4 by n to ideal to cos omega t minus r by v by r. Okay. Now, let us see here. This is a very, very important thing. So, this is the value of az. This is the value of az. Okay. Now let us consider. Now let us consider. This is my current element. So this is the axis. Okay. Here I have kept my current element. That is what is that current element? Ideal cos of omega into t minus r by v. Okay, so this is point P. Okay, at this point P, due to this current element, due to this current element, you want to calculate, uh, you want to calculate electrical field and magnetical. So we want to take the spherical coordinate system. Spherical coordinate system means what are the components you have? R, theta, pi. So what is the range of R? R, R range is from 0 to infinity. Okay, so if you take in this day also, it is 0 to infinity. Okay, what is the range of theta? Theta range is from 0 to 180 degrees. What is the range of phi? Phi range is from 0 to 360 degrees. 0 to 360 degrees is equal to infinity. Okay, so see here, for example, if you consider this is this is my sphere, the <laughs> So if you observe here in this diagram, okay. So what is the range of theta? The range of theta is from always the range of theta is from 0 to 180 degrees. Okay. So it starts from 0, 0 to so the 0 to 180 degrees. What is the range of phi? The range of phi is 360 degrees means. So this is the if I start from here, this entire circle. Okay, so this is 0 to 360. So the range of y is, so if you want to see here clearly. Okay, for example, this is my uh, current element. What is the range of theta? Theta is from 0 to pi. 0 to pi. 0 to 180 degrees. 0 to 180 degrees. Okay, but what about phi? Phi means if I start from here, this entire circle. Okay. So it is 360. So the range of phi is 0 to 360. The range of theta is from here to here 180. Here to here 180. Here to here 180. Here to here 180. So you want to keep in this mind the range of phi is 0 to 360. If I start from here, 0 to 360. The range of phi is from 0 to 180. 0 to 180. 0 to 180. 0 to 180 degrees. 0 to 180 degrees. Okay, so this is the thing you want to keep in mind. Okay, so up to now we have assumed that now we have kept in the spherical coordinate system. Uh, uh, Cartesian, uh, in Cartesian coordinate system, we will discuss a, a, x, y, z. Okay, so x, y, z. In Cartesian coordinate system, Cartesian coordinate system, we will discuss 
coordinates by z in spherical coordinate system spherical coordinate system we discuss r theta phi okay so r theta phi this is the expression for az this is the expression for az what is your aim at point p you want to calculate the electrical field and magnetical field what is the thing known we know we know the vector potential vector retarded potential a so once if you know a okay so uh, what is the how to calculate the electrical field or magnetical field okay so it is a simple expression p is equal to you know that del cross a b means h is equal to del cross a therefore h is equal to 1 by mu into del cross a. okay so this is the thing okay means nothing but curl of a curl of a so del cross a del cross a this is how you can calculate the Mm. Uh, field component, uh, uh, magnetic field component. Okay, so here our this is in partition coordinate system. Let us convert this into spherical coordinate system. So, how to convert the Cartesian coordinate system to Cartesian coordinate system to spherical coordinate system? Spherical coordinate system in Cartesian coordinate system, we have AX, CY, AZ. In spherical coordinate system, we have a r, a theta, a phi. So, therefore, the expression for a r, this is already we have studied in electromagnetic fields. Okay, so a r is equal to a x into cos theta cos phi plus a y e to cos theta cos phi plus a z cos theta and a theta is equal to AX to psi theta cos phi plus AY to sin theta sin phi minus minus AZ sin theta and A phi is equal to minus AX sin theta cos phi. Okay. So, in Cartesian system, we have placed the current element along z-axis. Okay, so az axis only will be available. What about ax and dy? ax and dy is equal to 0 since the current element is placed along z-axis. So, ax and ay is equal to 0. Okay, now substitute these equations in this above with these equations, then we will get. Okay, so ax is 0, ay is 0. Therefore, AR. What is the what is the value of AR is nothing but AR is equal to AZ cos theta. What is the value of uh, A theta? A theta is equal to so AX is zero, AY is zero. It is minus AZ sin. Now what is the value of A phi? Since AX is zero, A phi is equal to okay. So these are the three values we have converted into um, spherical coordinates. So, along A is AZ plus theta, along A theta it is minus AZ sin theta, along A phi it is 0, along A phi it is 0. Okay, so along A phi it is 0. Now, what you want to do? You want to calculate del cross A. So, what is the formula for the del cross A? So, del cross A you want to calculate del cross A. So, what is the formula for spinning to del quadrat in del cross A? It is so. 1 by r square sin theta into, so it is a r, r into a theta, r sin theta into a, r sin theta into a, is that, is that. If you understand this clearly, you can easily write, okay. So, what is the expression for del cross a is equal to? 1 by r square sin theta into a r, r into a theta, r sin theta into a pi. So, the three components are a r, a theta, a pi. So, here it is dou by dou r, dou by dou theta, dou by dou pi. So, here it is a r. Here it is r into a theta. Here it is r sin theta into a phi. 
Okay, so this is the expression. Now tell me here what is the value of a phi? A phi is g. A phi is g. So this entire component, this uh, this entire component, since a phi is equal to zero, this entire component will become g. Okay, and for example, let us consider. So see here, see very carefully here. For example, this is my anti. Okay, so. If you see along R direction, if you see this antenna along R direction, if you see here nearer, it will look somewhat. If you go far away, means along R, there is a variation in this antenna. Let us see here theta. Theta is from 0 to 180. Theta is from 0 to 180 degrees. For example, if you see from top, how the antenna looks like, Antenna, my antenna looks like a dot. But if you come in this direction at 90 degrees, how is my antenna? It looks like one uh, uh, line means there is a variation along theta direction there is a variation along r direction but what about phi direction so see here phi means 0 to 360 if i look from this direction my antenna looks same in any direction in any direction in this phi so my antenna looks same means along phi is there any variation in the antenna Along phi, is there any variation in the antenna? In this, in this, for example, let us consider this is phi is equal to zero degrees. In this, the antenna looks same. Phi is equal to ninety degrees. The antenna looks same. Phi is equal to one eighty degrees. The antenna looks same. Phi is equal to two seventy degrees. The antenna looks same. Similarly, phi is equal to three sixty degrees. So in any direction, so this is phi is equal to three sixty degrees direction. So there is no variation along phi. There is no variation along phi. So, since there is no variation along phi, since there is no variation along phi, okay, so the dou by dou phi, dou by the value of dou by dou phi also zero. So, that is delta C A is equal to hmm, 1 by r square sin theta into ar into r into a theta into r sin theta into a phi will have dou by dou r dou by dou theta this value is zero here it is a r r into a theta this is zero okay so this is one okay so now tell me these two components are zero so which components of delta c will be present let us take for a r okay so this one multiplied by this one so a r component AR component delta C in uh, R direction is 0. Uh, let us take this one. So for theta direction. Okay, theta direction means minus of dou R into this one. This also will become 0. So what is the only component we have? So see here, I have told that here you want to calculate the electrical field and magnetic field. Electrical field means you want to calculate ER, E theta, E phi. Similarly, H means HR. H theta, H phi. Broadly, how many components are there? Six components. Let us see how many components will exist. Okay, so from this, uh, it is clear that R component will not be there. G, uh, will not be there because it will become zero. Theta component also will not be there it's because it uh, A R into zero, A R into zero. Only will have phi component. Means del cross A means this is nothing but del cross A means which is nothing but H. So which component H component will be there? Only phi component will be there. So, what about HR and H theta? It will be zero. HR and H theta will be zero. Because, because del cross we are having only component along phi. So, we will have only the component along H. Okay. Only we will have the component along H. Okay. So, now I will expand this. Now I will expand this. Okay. Remaining this component is zero, this component is zero. Okay. So, I will expand this. Expansion is that is del cross A is equal to 1 by R square sin theta into mm, R sin theta into mm, are the expansion R sin theta into 2 by 2 R of this one and this one. Okay. So it is 2 by 2 R of R into A theta minus 2 by so, theta of AR, this is we are having along which direction? A, phi. 
Okay. So we know that what is the value of a theta? Hmm. The value of a theta is minus az raise i theta. Similarly, what is the value of a r? It is az cos theta. Okay. So simply substitute here. So r sin theta, r sin theta will get cancelled is 1 by r into dou by dou r of r into what is the value of a theta? The value of a theta is equal to minus az sin theta. Minus az sin theta minus dou by dou theta. What is the value of a? The value of a r is az cos theta. Az cos theta. This is along a phi direction. This is along a phi direction. So, if you substitute here. So, and again, what is the value of az? What is the value of az? Hmm. The value of az is again this one. So, the value of az is this one. Okay, now substitute this value here. Now, substitute the value of az here. So, if I substitute the value of az, it's a lengthy expression. That is 1 by r into 2 by 2 r of 2 by 2 r of r into what is the value of az minus c2 what is the value of az az is a lengthy expression that is mu by 4 pi two. this is the value of az okay so mu by 4 pi 2 hmm. ideal cos omega t minus r by v by r into sin theta minus hmm. Go by go theta again az az is mu by 4 pi into ideal cos omega t minus r by v by r into here cos theta this is an a phi direction okay so if you substitute this so finally you get the expression del cos a along phi direction is equal to mu into ideal sin theta by 4 pi into minus omega sin omega t minus r by b by r b plus cos of omega into t minus r by b by r square since a by that. So this is Cross. Okay, now we know that what is the expression for h? H is equal to simply 1 by mu into del cross. So, therefore, h phi. Okay, since we are getting along only phi direction, hr and h value, what is the value of hr and h theta? hr and h theta values are 0. It's equal to 0. So, therefore, h phi is equal to what is the expression for h phi? It is ideal. One mu mu will get cancelled. Okay, so ideal. Ideal sin theta by 4 pi into minus omega sin omega t minus r by v by r v plus cos of omega t minus r by v by r square. Okay. So, here I am assuming let t dash is equal to t minus r by v. So, in the place of t minus r by v, I am simply replacing with t dash. Okay. So, therefore, the expression for h is equal to expression for. So, among all the three components, h theta, h r, h phi, which component exists here? Only h phi component exists. Only h phi component. So, the value is ideal sin theta by 4 pi into minus omega sin omega t dash into rv plus cos omega t dash by r square. Here, what is the value of t dash? T dash is equal to T minus R by V. Okay, so this is H5. Now we have got H5. 
Now, how to calculate the, now we have calculated the magnetical field complex. Now, our work is to calculate the electrical field. How will you calculate the electrical field? Mm. So, we will take the Maxwell's equation. So, the Maxwell's equation, del cross H is equal to J plus rho d by rho d or is it the sigma epsilon plus epsilon into rho e by rho d since the d is equal to epsilon. Okay. So for free space, for free space conducted to sigma is equal to therefore del cross h is equal to epsilon into rho e by rho d. Okay. From this rho e by rho d is equal to 1 by epsilon into del cross h. This implies what is the value of p? p is equal to 1 by epsilon into integration of del cross h into dt. Okay, so this is the final expression for e. This is the final expression for e is equal to 1 by epsilon into del cross h into dt. So this is the final expression for e. So this is how you can calculate the e. Now let us see in E also which component will be present. Here is there, E theta is there, E phi is there. Among these three components, which component is there? So before that, we want to do first del cross H. Okay, let us do del cross H. So what is the expression for del cross H? Same thing. So it is 1 by R square sin theta into mm, AR into R into A theta into R sin theta into A phi by rho by rho R mm, rho by rho R next to rho by rho theta rho by rho phi next to HR H theta H phi. Okay. So now tell me what is the value of rho by rho phi? I have already told you. What is the value of HR? It is 0. What is the value of H theta? 0. So simply substitute here LH is equal to 1 by R square sin theta into mm. AR into RA theta into R sin theta into A phi by rho by rho R rho by rho theta 0, 0, 0. Okay, so here it is R into H by here it is R sin theta into H by. Okay, so it is R sin theta into H by. Okay, so this is the expression. Okay, now tell me which component will be present and which component will not be present. Let us take A. Okay, so here A R means this both available. So uh, E E E R component will be present. E R component will be present. Next, what about E theta? So E theta E theta is equal to rho by rho R into R sin theta. So uh, E uh, theta component will be also present. But uh, what about phi component here? This one multiplication of this one into this one that is zero means del cross H. Which components will be present? Mm. Del cross H by seeing by seeing this expression, which components will be present? R component and Theta component will be present. So del cross H means nothing but hmm, del cross H means we are doing for E. So which electrical field component will be present? E R and E theta. E phi is equal to zero. Okay. E R and E theta will be present and E phi component will be zero. E phi component will be zero. So among all that six components, among all that six components, that is E R, E theta, E phi. HR, H theta, H phi. Here in H phi, we are having only H phi and HR and H theta is equal to 0. Whereas coming to this ER, we are having only ER and E theta. What about E phi? E phi is equal to 0. That's why in this figure. So finally, what are the three components we are having? Hmm. ER, E theta, H, these are the three components we are having. That's why in this figure, if you observe in this figure, <coughs> out of the three components here we have shown, hmm, E theta, E R and H. Okay, so among the six components, we are having only three components that are E R, E theta, H. Now, we have already calculated what is the value of H. Now, you want to calculate 
the value of year and now we want to calculate the value of E theta. Okay, now let us calculate the value of year and E theta. Now, so see here. What is the expression for year? Hmm. So, year is nothing but dou by dou theta r sin theta into h. So, year AR is equal to dou by dou theta of r sin theta into h phi. Okay, now let us write the uh, expression for uh, <coughs> now let us uh, write the expression for a so a r is equal to mm, what is the expression dou by dou theta of a sin pi so it is delta s h into r is equal to delta s h respect to r is equal to so that is 1 by r square sin theta into mm, Dou by dou theta r sin theta into h. Right. This is along the air direction. Okay. So since here we are differentiating with respect to theta, okay, here r term r term will get cancelled. So del cross h power r is equal to 1 by r sin theta into dou by dou theta of sin h phi. Okay. So this is along here. Now you already know the value of h phi. Substitute the value of h phi. Substitute the value of h phi. What is the value of h phi? This is the value of h phi we have already derived. Okay. So this is so this is the final value of h phi. This is the final value of h phi. Okay. This is our final value of h phi. Now substitute this expression. Now substitute this expression here. Okay, now substitute this expression here. So it is delta s h whole power r is equal to 1 by r sin theta into dou by dou theta. So substitute here sin r <coughs> sin theta into sin theta into, okay, so sin theta into, what is the value of h pi? h pi is equal to ideal sin theta by 4 pi into minus omega sin omega t dash rv plus cos omega t dash rv into kr, okay. So, if you solve this, you solve this, finally, we will get, so, del cross h whole power r is equal to 2 ideal cos theta by 4 pi r into minus omega sin omega t dash into r v plus cos omega dash by r square okay so similarly similarly from this we can calculate with respect to theta so what is with respect to theta hmm del cross h is equal to 1 by r square sin theta into r into hmm. dou by dou r of r sin theta dou by dou r of r sin theta into h by okay so it is nothing but so del cross h it is so finally, the expression for del cross h with respect to theta is equal to 1 by r sin theta into dou by dou r of r sin theta into h by long a theta. Okay, so here since it is respect to r sin theta sin theta will get cancelled. So it is 1 by r into 2 by dou r of r into h pi. Okay, so this is along theta direction. Now you know the value of h, substitute the value of h pi. Okay, so that is del cross h into theta direction is equal to 1 by r into 2 by dou r of. So what is the value of this? Ideal sin theta by Four pi into minus omega <coughs> sine omega t dash 
R V minus plus cos omega two dash by R square into R to R into this is A. Okay, so if you solve this, so if you substitute this, you substitute this, you will get the finally uh, the delta stitch the term is. Cross H along theta direction is equal to minus IDL sine theta by 4 pi into omega square cos of omega T minus R by V by R into velocity square plus omega sine omega T minus R by V V R square minus cos omega T minus R by V by R. Okay, so this is the expression. Okay, so this is the expression for R component. This is the expression for R component. This is the expression for theta component. This is the expression for theta component. Now you want to calculate the electric field. So what is the relation? So we know that electrical field is equal to 1 by epsilon into yeah, integration of L cross H R into okay, dt. Similarly, electrical field is equal to 1 by epsilon into L cross H with respect to theta into dt. Okay, so you want to do this. So finally, if you substitute here, this is the value of del cross HR. Okay, so this is the value of del cross HR. Okay, now if you substitute this, so finally the we get the ER component and E theta component are ER component and E theta component are. So ER component is equal to to IDL cos theta by 4 by epsilon into cos omega t minus r by v by r square v minus sine omega t minus <coughs> r by v by omega r. So this is the final component for here. Similarly, e theta component. So e theta component is equal to ideal sine theta by 4 by epsilon to 4 by epsilon 2 minus omega sin omega t minus r by v by r into v square plus cos omega t minus r by v by v r square plus sin omega t minus r by v by omega r cube. So this is your component. This is e theta component from electrical. Already we have calculated h phi. So what is the value of h phi? This is nothing but significance of significance of field components. Significance of field components. So significance of field components. So we are having what are the three components? E R e theta h phi. What is the value of h phi? The value of h phi is IDL sin theta by 4 pi into minus omega sin omega t dash. t dash means what is the value of t dash? t minus r by v by r v plus cos of omega t minus r by v into square. So these are the three expressions. So totally among six components. Okay, so what is the value of hr and h theta it is equal to zero. And similarly here phi is equal to so these are the three components in these three components. Okay, so let us see here very very important what is the significance of this one. So here we are having 1 by r square term. 
here we are having 1 by r cube down. Here we are having 1 by r term. Okay. So, totally we are having 1 by r term, 1 by r square term, 1 by r cube term. So, what does this uh, represent? So, okay. so, here very, very important one. 1 by r term represents the radiation of an radiation of an active. And 1 by r square represents the reactance of an active. Reactance of an active. And 1 by r cube represents electrostatic fields. Electrostatic fields. So among this, which one is required? We, we should we should have only the 1 by r. So radiation should be considered means the required thing is 1 by r. So if you observe here, if you take ER component, okay, you have 1 by r common, 1 by r cube. Okay, so 1 by r square term is not there. So means in ER we don't find any radiation. So the most popularly used two parameters are E theta and H. E theta and H. Why are not why I am neglecting ER? Because here, here we are not having 1 by r term, which is related with. Uh, radiation of an atom. Here 1 by r term is not there. So, ER, ER, okay, 1 by r term is not there. There will be no radiation. Okay, so, so the term, the first term, the term 1 by r is inversely proportional with respect to r. This term is called as radiation. The second term is inversely proportional to 1 by r square. It is called as induction field. It is called as induction and 1 by r cube by r cube it is called as electrostatic piece and the r cube is electrostatic piece okay, the next uh, the amplitudes of both the terms in h5 okay, so the amplitudes of both the terms in h5 have equal amplitudes okay, so have equal uh, amplitudes and they are given by and they are given by Which is a very, very important function. Omega by <coughs> RB is equal to 1 by R square R R will get cancelled. Okay, so R is equal to B by W. R is equal to B by W, that is B by 2 pi F. So RB means nothing but velocity of velocity of light that is so velocity means c by 2 pi that is c by 2 pi so that is r is equal to nothing but lambda means c is equal to lambda to substitute is lambda by 2 pi that is lambda by 6 so r is equal to lambda by 6 so this is a very very important condition okay. so the condition at which the amplitudes are equal, okay, in h by component is at lambda by 6, lambda by 6, okay. So, the radiation field term indicates the flow of energy away from the current term. So, radiation field term, that is 1 by r term, 1 by r term indicates the flow of energy away from the current film, from the current field, okay. So, this is all. So, finally, you have calculated electrical field e theta and h okay which consists of 1 by r term. 1 by r term okay the next coming class we will discuss regarding power radiated by current L. power radiated by current L.